There's this famous quote by Pascal, and it says that all of humanity's problems stem from man's inability to sit still with himself. And this probably doesn't really make sense to you right now, but the reason that I thought about this quote is that something happened to me recently. I went to my gym and my gym has a sauna. And so usually after my workout, I go and, and chill in the sauna a little bit. And whenever I go to the sauna, I kind of look forward to it in terms of a social way, because I know people are gonna be there and it's usually the best time to talk to someone and get to know them and just practice my social skills, etc. So that's what I was looking for this time because usually that's what happens. There's a guy sitting there and you open the door and, and obviously you say, hi, how are you? And you start talking. At the gym, obviously when you work out, it's difficult, right? Because everyone's doing their own thing. And you don't want to disturb people. But in the sauna, it's the perfect opportunity. So in my head, I was really looking forward to this. So I finish my workout, I go to the men's locker room, change, go to the sauna, I open that wooden door, and immediately in the little window, I see two men sitting down. And in my head, I was like, oh, that's cool. We could, I could start talking to them, etc." But then I open the door. So immediately the first guy that I see, as I look through that window, that little window, has his AirPods in. So he's putting his AirPods in, and you could tell that he's listening to music or he was on his phone, so. He's definitely not looking forward to some social interaction. So I was like, oh, okay, cool. And then I continue forward. And on the left, it was a little bit hidden, but there's another guy. And funny enough, he's also with his AirPods listening to music, watching a video on his phone. So obviously I was a little bit disappointed because I came with that thinking and that mindset that, oh, there's two people there. We're gonna talk, chill a little in the sauna get out and then continue my day. But instead there's two people in a place where you can make friends or you can interact, but both of them are with their phone, <laughs> with their AirPods, not listening to what's happening around them. So obviously this story, I was very disappointed, but why does it even matter? Why does this story matter? What I know is that scientists figured out that there's something called the default network. It's some part in our brain that lights up whenever we're not doing a task. So let's say you're doing homework, etc. It's not lit up, but whenever you're free or you think you're not doing anything, in fact, you are. So you're always thinking about something. So what scientists found about this default network that I'm talking to you about is that when we have downtime, when we think we're not doing anything, we're born, our brains are in fact thinking about our social life. So this could be thoughts about other people, about ourselves, but usually social life, even if you're not aware of this, this is what happens. So your brain just thinks about these kind of thoughts because you know that we're hardwired to be social creatures. We know this, we're social animals. We want to interact. In the past, we had tribes. We needed to interact with people to survive. We couldn't just be one of those lone wolves, which are just alone and just figure it out themselves. It's impossible. Even in today's world, you need to be with people you need to interact, you need to socialize to survive. So why does this relate back to the story that I told you? Well, obviously I don't know much about the people in the sauna, but I have a feeling that like most people, they're just addicted to their phone. Every single chance that they have that they're born or they just can't be alone, they reach their phone, they open an app and distract themselves that way. Now, why is this an issue? It all stems back to what I told you before, that Pascal quote, that our issues get worse humanity's issues get gets worse when we're constantly distracting ourselves, where we can't be alone with our own thoughts or just not doing anything. So again, I don't know a lot about these people, but let's use them as an example. They went to the sauna and immediately their brain resorted to distraction, to taking their phone out, putting blasting music. I heard it from, as I was sitting with them for like 20 minutes, they were just blasting music, both of them. They're not friends or anything. It was a complete coincidence, but they were sitting down on their phone, just listening to music and then leaving. They could have decided to take those headphones off, talk to me, and we'd have a great conversation, but instead they distracted themselves. And that's what most people do. The issue with this is that we don't have downtime to think about our social life, our social connection with other people, to think about ourselves, about our goals. I'm specifically like aiming this video at the social aspect, but this could be about everything else, right? This could be about your goals, 
where you're going in life, etc. So my theory, obviously you could be wrong, but these people, they probably distract themselves often. And so they don't have time to think about the importance of the social connection to think about, oh, maybe I should actually take these headphones off and talk to this guy or talk to the guy next to me, right? I wasn't the first guy there. There were two people that were listening to music on and they're just doing it without me there. And now I come and they're still doing it. They don't want to interact with other people. And these were not kids. These were like 20, 30 year olds. And so, yeah, I said, my theory is that these people don't have time to be alone with their thoughts. And as I mentioned with the default network before, is that these people just don't have time to think about their social life. And then they get to these situations where they could be social and it's not even a priority for their brain because they're so distracted by these apps, by YouTube, by listening to music. There is a time for these things, right? I listen to music when I work out, but I really think that you can use these opportunities to be social. Like being alone in a sauna room is perfect for being social, for talking to someone, even if you're not gonna be friends with them, just being social. And so that's why it hit me so much, right? Because in my brain, this is so important. This is why I'm telling you this story because it disappointed me. I'm sure they don't care, right? These people went home, they're not even thinking, they're not making a YouTube video about this. I'm thinking about this because it's crazy how we've evolved to be less social creatures when our desires have never been more important to be social, right? We're still the same social creatures that we were 2000 years ago, but we're not letting that come out because of these distractions. And we're not even aware of it. These people aren't even aware that they need to be more social or that they probably should have talked to me then. It doesn't matter to them. So what could you learn from this? Obviously this video was all over the place. I took it to many angles, but I think there's a lot to learn from here. The number one thing that I would say is whenever you feel like distracting yourself from reality, whether it's from addictions, it could be drugs, it could be YouTube, it could be anything but mostly these modern day addictions that hurt us the most. Whenever you feel like distracting yourself, try to be more present. Try to force that, even if it doesn't feel comfortable. Try to force being present with the people around you or with yourself if you're alone, because you're gonna benefit a lot when you have more alone time. Instead of distracting yourself when you're with people, be present with them, listen to them, be in that conversation, try to ask questions, be there for them. Don't learn from these people at the sauna. They're not gonna know it was an issue. And it's not an issue for them, it doesn't matter. I just know the importance of being more social and not distracting yourself with these present day distractions. So be more present, give your mind more time to be with other people and stop distracting yourself. Whenever you go on walks, maybe instead of always distracting yourself with music. Tune into the world around you. Try to be present. Try to look around at the sky, at the leaves, at the trees, instead of just resorting to music or distraction all the time. I think there's definitely a balance of this, right? I love to listen to music. I love to listen to educational stuff, audiobooks, but there's a balance. And if you could find that balance, then you definitely got it right because these people don't have their priorities right. These people at the sauna, that is not a time to be with your phone, to be with your headphones on blasting music. But let's put these people on the side. And for you, I think we can summarize this video in one sentence. Because of the default network that we talked about, your social skills, your social interactions will improve drastically when you spend more time alone and you don't distract yourself from reality with all these addictions. I'm going to be taking my next three coaching clients for $5. So click on the link in the description and thank you for watching.